Summer Bear Life Balance Education and Salt Lake Community College present the Mockingjay players in The Hunger Games Catching Fire Radio Drama. Katniss's Mockingjay pin has come to represent the very real threat of rebellion. Gail and Katniss had a fight about running away while they were hunting in the woods. District 12 has a new head peacekeeper who is a man that goes by the book. He caught Gail with a wild turkey and is now punishing him for poaching. Gail! No! Stop! This one is for you, Missy, for interrupting. And this one is because you made me mad. Hold it! Oh, excellent! She's got a photo shoot next week modeling wedding dresses. What am I supposed to tell her stylist? She interrupted the punishment of a confessed criminal. I don't care if she blew up the blasted justice building! Look at her cheek! Think that'll be camera ready in a week? That's not my problem. No? Well, it's about to be, my friend. The first call I make when I get home is to the Capitol. Find out who authorized you to mess up my victor's pretty little face. He was poaching. What business is it of hers anyway? He's her cousin, and she's my fiancé, so if you want to get to him, expect to go through both of us. I believe for a first offense, the required number of lashes has been dispensed, sir. Unless your sentence is death, which we would carry out by firing squad. Is that standard protocol here? Yes, sir. Mm, Very well. Get your cousin out of here, girl. And if he comes to, remind him that the next time he poaches off the capital's land, I'll assemble that firing squad personally. I will not forget this incident, hey, Mitch? Neither will I. Gail! You better get him to your mother. Mother! Help him, please! What happened? New head peacekeeper. Mother, you can help him, can't you? Katniss, did the whip hit your eye? No, it's just swelled shut. Prim, get some snow on that. Can you save him? Don't worry. Used to be a lot of whippings before Cray. Your mother is the one we took them to. Prim, get that herbal concoction for the pain. That isn't enough! I know how it feels! That will barely knock out a toothache! We'll combine it with sleep syrup, Katniss, and he'll manage it. The herbs are more for the inflammation. Just give him the medicine! Take her out! Just give it to him! Who are you anyway to decide how much pain he can stand? Come on, Katniss. So it's starting again? Like before? By the looks of it, who could have thought we'd ever be sorry to see old Cray go? The peacekeepers can't have them. Might be you thereafter. Or you. Not my house, but I'll get the door. No, I'll get it. Madge. Hi, Katniss. Um, this is for Gail. They're my mother's. Uh, she said I could take them. Please, use them. I've got to get back. Don't worry, Katniss. He's in good hands. Bye. Crazy girl. What is that stuff? It's from the Capitol. It's called Morphling. I didn't even know Madge knew Gale. We used to sell her strawberries. She must have quite a taste for them. She's my friend. Katniss, go to bed. I'll stay with him. Peta, about what I said yesterday. About running? I know. There's no need to explain, okay? Just go to bed. Have you seen Haymitch today? I want to talk to both of you. Okay. Let's get him and go for a walk in the square. So we're all headed off into the great unknown, are we? No, not anymore. Oh, worked through the flaws in that plan, did you, sweetheart? Any new ideas? I want to start an uprising. <laughs> Well, I want a drink. You let me know how that works out for you. What's your plan, then? My plan is to make sure everything is just perfect for your wedding. I called and rescheduled your photo shoot without giving too many details. Oh. Hey, Mitch. Cadness. It won't work. Look at the square. It's been transformed. 
All the peacekeepers? And there are some machine guns. Hey, Mitch, what are they building over there? Thread's a quick worker. Punishment for the lawbreakers. That's an official whipping post. Those over there are the stockades. Oh, man, right there in the center is the gallows. Of course! An uprising? Am I an idiot? Uprising requires breaking the law. Most of the people here in 12 would never even buy anything from the hob. It would be too risky. An uprising? I don't think so. They had to get out of the house. President Snow is really going through with the wedding. He sent the dresses for a photo shoot. What in his twisted brain will that achieve? Is it for the benefit of those in the Capitol? A wedding was promised. A wedding will be given. And then he'll kill us? A lesson to the districts? It just doesn't make sense. Stop, or I'll shoot. Don't shoot, Katniss. What is it? What does that cracker with my Mockingjay on it mean? It means we're on your side. Who are you? You don't look like peacekeepers, other than the uniform. My name's Twill, and this is Bonnie. We're running away from District 8. Where'd you get the uniforms? I stole them from the factory. We make them there. The gun came from a dead peacekeeper. That cracker in your hand with the bird. What's that about? Don't you know, Katniss? I know it matches the pin I wore in the arena. She doesn't know. Maybe not about any of it. I know you had an uprising in eight. That's why we had to get out. Well, <laughs> you're getting out now. What are you going to do? We're headed for District 13. 13? There's no 13. It got blown off the map. 75 years ago? What do you expect to find in 13? We're not exactly sure. It's nothing but rubble. We've all seen the footage. That's just it. They've been using the same footage for as long as anyone in District 8 can remember. Really? You know that they always just show the Justice Building? Well, if you look very carefully, you'll see it in the far right-hand corner. See what? A Mockingjay. Just a glimpse of it as it flies by, but always the same one, every time. Back home, we think they keep using the same old footage because President Snow doesn't want us to know what's really there. You're going to District 13 based on that? A shot of a bird? You think you're going to find some new city with people strolling around in it? And that's just fine with the capital? No, we think the people moved underground when everything on the surface was destroyed. We think they managed to survive. And we think that the capital leaves them alone because before the dark days, District 13's principal industry was nuclear development. They were graphite miners. They had a few small mines, yes, but not enough to justify a population of that size. That, I guess, is all we know for sure. Why haven't they helped us? If it's true, why do they leave us to live like this? With the hunger and the killings and the games? We don't know right now. Right now, we're just holding out hope that they exist. I can't believe we actually got to meet you. You're practically all anyone's talked about since... I know, I know. Since I pulled out those berries. Well, here's some food for you to take on your trip. I have to get back before they miss me in 12. Thank, Thank you. you. I was always going to be a pawn in Snow's scheme to subdue the rebellions, no matter how much in love Peta and I acted on the victory tour. How foolish to think I could change any of that. I wonder if there really are people in 13. Could we have been lied to about what happened? What did my bird on the cracker mean? I never found out what they meant when they said they were on my side. The humming. The fence has been turned on? It's almost never on. Why would it go on the day I returned to the woods? Did someone see me go under the fence and report it? Did head peacekeeper thread turn it on to trap me? I have to get back inside, and no one can know that I was outside the fence today. Think. I can't touch the fence, or that would kill me. Going under the fence is impossible because the ground is frozen. That leaves going over. All I need is a tall enough tree. Here she is, just in time for dinner. Peta, hey Mitch, you made it for dinner. Can I help you peacekeepers with something? Head Peacekeeper Thread sent us with a message for you. They've been waiting for hours. Must be an important message. May we ask where you've been, Miss Everdeen? <laughs> Easier to ask where I haven't been. So, where haven't you been? 
Well, I haven't been talking to the goat man about getting Prim's goat pregnant because someone gave me completely inaccurate information as to where he lives. No, I didn't. I told you exactly. You said he lives beside the west entrance to the mine. The east entrance. You distinctly said the west because then I said next to the slag heap and you said, yeah. The slag heap next to the east entrance. No. When did you say that? Last night? It was definitely the east. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, but it's what I've been saying. You don't listen when people talk to you. Bet people told you he didn't live there today, and you didn't listen again. Shut up, Hamish. (laughs) (laughs) Fine. Somebody else can arrange to get the stupid goat knocked up. What's in the back? See for yourself. Oh, good. We're running low on bandages. Ooh, peppermints. Catch, Hamish. Hey, they're mine. I love candy. Here, Brim, catch. (laughs) None of you deserves candy. Why? Because we're right? Okay, Prim said West, I distinctly heard West, and we're all idiots. How's that? Better. Oh, Peacekeepers, you have a message for me? From Head Peacekeeper Thread. He wanted you to know that the fence surrounding District 12 will now have electricity 24 hours a day. Didn't it already? He thought you might be interested in passing this information on to your cousin. Thank you. I will tell him. I'm sure we'll all sleep a little more soundly now that security has addressed that lapse. All right, then. Good night. Good night. What is it? Ow. Oh. I banged up my left foot. What happened? I slipped and fell on some ice. Right. Well, I did. Let me look at the foot. Prim, go get Katniss's pajamas and robe. Okay. Peta, would you please get me some more snow for the snowpack? I hope the snow has covered my tracks. And Bonnie and Twill are all right. So, Prim, how was school? All right. We learned about coal byproducts. Katniss, are you going to try on your wedding dresses? Not tonight. Tomorrow, probably. Wait until I get home, okay? Sure. Here, Katniss, drink this tea. It'll help you sleep. Let me wrap your foot. I'll carry her up to bed. Don't go yet. Not until I fall asleep. (laughs) Almost thought you changed your mind today, when you were late for dinner. No. I would have told you. Peta, stay with me. Always. (laughs) We're here early. Katniss, your face! Oh, look at that scar! What happened? I fell on ice and cut my face. (gasps) Well, let's get started. Octavia, your party the other day was just fabulous. Mm. It would have been even better if I could have got the shrimp I wanted. Why couldn't you get shrimp? Is it out of season? Oh, Katniss, we haven't been able to get any seafood for weeks. You know, because the weather's been so bad in District 4. No seafood for weeks. The barely concealed rages in the crowd during the victory tour. District 4 has revolted. Yes, and I couldn't get the ribbons I wanted to go with my new dress. I had to make do with old ones. Can you believe that? Uh, That's horrible. (laughs) But I know what you mean. I was going to get one of those new glitter music chips, but they were out of stock. (sighs) Katniss, I've missed you. Now let me take a look. If we move the powder this way, then the scar won't be seen. All right, very good. Now let's go down and get the wedding dresses photographed before Effie has a fit about the schedule. There's mandatory programming tonight. I think it's going to be your photo shoot. It can't be. (laughs) They only took the pictures yesterday. Well, that's what I heard. I hope you're wrong. Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Caesar Flickerman, and with me is Cinna. Her fashions are what everyone wants to wear. Katniss is so lucky to have you as a stylist, Cinna. Well, Prim, you are right. It is the photo shoot. Thank you, and I'm privileged to be her stylist. <laughs> this is the wedding of the century, and you, the audience, will get to pick the dress she wears. Let's get Kenneth Everdeen to her wedding in style. Don't forget to vote tonight. And 
Don't turn off the TV yet. There is more exciting news. That's right. This year is the 75th anniversary of the Hunger Games, and that means it's time for the third quarter quest. That's right. It's the reading of the card. Welcome, President Snow. When the Hunger Games were set up after the Dark Days, it was written that every 25 years there would be a quarter quell. On the 25th anniversary of the end of the Dark Days, as a reminder to the rebels that their children were dying because of their choices to initiate violence, every district was made to hold an election and vote on their tributes who would represent it. On the 50th anniversary, as a reminder that two rebels died for each capital citizen, every district was required to send twice as many tributes. I had a friend who went that year, Maisley Donner. Her parents owned the sweet shop. They gave me her songbird after. That was the Erhamich one. And now we honor our third quarter quell. On the 75th anniversary, as a reminder to the rebels that even the strongest among them cannot overcome the power of the capital, the male and female tributes will be reaped from their existing pool of victors. Katniss is going back into the games, but who will go with her? Find out next time in part four of the Hunger Games Catching Fire radio drama. Until then, (laughs) may the odds be ever in your favor. (laughs) 